All right, let's look at how to shoot projectiles through the air. They could be bullets, they could be bubbles, they could be arrows, but anything where you want to create a lot of them and they're going to fly through the air. So I'll show you the example here. And uh, the example is I have this cannon here and whenever I, uh, wherever I click, uh, it fires a bullet towards. And if I hold, it fires multiple bullets. And uh, how did we do that? Well. Basically, we're going to be using a system called cloning. You'll notice over here, down the right-hand side, down the bottom, if I zoom in a little bit, that we only have one bullet sprite. You really don't want to have, you know, 50 bullet sprites down the bottom here for 50 bullets. You want to be able to create one bullet and then clone it or copy it um, for to create um, heaps of bullets. Because, for example, if we change this from z uh, waiting 0 0.1 seconds to waiting 0. Uh, sorry, 0 0.05 seconds, so half as long of a wait. Now we have even more bullets. Um, and we definitely don't want them to be individual sprites. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And uh, let's look at the code and see what it does. So basically, when the green flag is, flag is clicked, the bullet in this case is going to hide and it's never going to show itself. The original bullet is never going to show itself on the screen. It's only going to create clones of itself and those clones will then show themselves. Okay, so it's like a template or a sort of a mold for your, for your bullet. Um, and then forever, uh, if the mouse is held down in my case, or it might be a different button for you, um, we're going to start the sound fire. Now, not wait till it's finished because we don't want to wait till the sound's finished before we actually fire the clone. Um, then it's going to create a clone of itself and it's going to wait a short amount of time um, so that you don't, uh, well, I'll show you, if I take this out, um, then, I mean, that might be what you're after <laughs> in your game, but if you want to uh, make it a little bit less overpowered, um, then you would put that that little weight in there. And then it's just going to immediately cycle back around. If the mouse is down, create another clone of yourself. So all this thing does is it creates lots of clones of itself. Then we have this second script over here, which is when I start as a clone. So when a bullet uh, or a bubble or whatever it is comes into existence, what does it do? Well, the first thing I've got here is go to the back layer. That's just so that it doesn't appear like on top of the player, uh, which would look a bit weird. It sort of comes out from under under the player. I think it looks a bit better. Then we the bullet could be anywhere on the screen. So we need it to actually go to the player's position. So it'll go to here. And um, then we can... Um, point in the direction of the player. Now that's important because this cannon is moving around, but even if you've just got a, a character that moves left and right, you want to fire in the correct direction. Um, so direct point in direction of player, and that's found in the sensing uh, block here. Uh, it is down here. So we select player, and then we have all sorts of options there. Um, then, then I'm going to get it to move 10 pixels, and that's just going to move it out from the middle of the gun out towards the end of the gun uh, so that it actually gets uh, starts out here as opposed to in the middle because that we don't want that delay. And then it's finally going to show itself and then repeat until touching the edge, move 16 pixels. So that'll be every frame it'll move 16 pixels. So you can change that number. We could make it slower, you know, uh, so we could do 10 pixels, for example, and it's gonna be a bit slower. In some games, it might actually be really interesting to have you know, super slow bullets, um, but I'm going to leave it at 16 for me. Uh, and then this is really, really important. Once it touches the edge, delete the clone. Uh, because if you don't, when you get to 300 bullets, oops, when you get to, oh, what did I do? How, how did I do that? Okay, when you get to 300 bullets, uh, it will just stop creating clones because there's a 300 clone limit. So you want to delete them when they get to the edge. Okay, let's just talk about a few extra uh, additional things that might help you with your bullets. Um, for a start, if you're firing bullets really fast um, and they're just going in one long, ridiculously long stream like this, um, it doesn't really look great if they go in a straight line. So I've created here, once I point in direction of the player, I've then said, turn to the right a random amount between minus five and five 
uh, degrees and I've put 0, 0.0 so that it chooses decimals so 1.1 degrees and things like that um, and that will just create um, what we call spread and you'll see it just makes it look a little bit more uh, realistic uh, rather than every bullet just going perfectly uh, straight and you can play around with that spread we could try um, we could try 10 for example 10 each way which is going to be double the amount of spread and then it goes through um, and and that might be sort of counteract the fact that you're firing ridiculous amounts of bullets. Um, another thing to, to think about, and I will put this weight back in here, uh, another thing to think about is the bullet itself. How do you draw the bullet itself? And um, you probably don't need to actually find an image for your bullet. You can probably just go down, click on the paint icon here, and as you can see with my bullet, basically I just drew um, a, a little sort of um, red oval and then a yellow oval around it, but you can um, create whatever you want. I do recommend you make your bullets reasonably large. If you make them super small, like realistic bullets, they, they just won't show up on the screen at all. And you'll find a lot of really fantastic 2D games actually have insanely large um, bullets or projectiles. Same with arrows or, or bubbles or whatever it is that you're projecting um, out onto the screen. Uh, you want them to be larger than real life, okay? So, you know, really large arrows, really large whatever um, to make them look really good. Uh, another thing you might notice here is because I wanted mine to have this kind of cool gradient effect. The way you do that is you can fill in a, a shape. Um, if you go into fill here, if you're in vector mode anyway, you can actually select a gradient um, up the top here and uh, if you do that then you get two colors and if you set one of the colors I think I selected this one if you select one of the colors to be um, a transparency then you get this cool sort of gradient effect um, uh, down here when you fill it in you can see um, there are all sorts of things you can play with there so I hope some of those things help and um, remember more projectiles is always better. Don't, don't make like one or two bullets, make lots of bullets, make them uh, really inaccurate and um, if, if it's making the game too easy just make more enemies. <laughs> uh, good luck with everything.